Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my 2016 favorites. And I'm posting this video a little bit late during the year because I actually lost all the footage that I had in my um, memory card. I dropped it and broke it. So I had to basically start from scratch. But I'm just going to get right into this video and show you guys my favorites for this year. I'm going to start off with the things that are like the least interesting to me at least. So um, for hair products, um, I have number one is the Eco Styler Gel. And everybody knows about this gel. I use this gel all the time. And when my hair is actually out, this is the gel that I put on my hair. I've been wearing my hair in like a ponytail lately and this is what I've been wearing and this is gonna forever be one of my favorite products hair products to use the next product that I have here is tea tree oil braid spray and I use this spray whenever I get like fresh braids whether it is braids or like cornrows I use it so it can like make my hair feel like more you know less tight like when you get braids freshly done they're very tight and this kind of loosens it up so this is my next 2016 favorite i love this spray and i always buy it over and over this is probably like my fifth bottle but i swear that it's like really good and you can use it on natural and synthetic hair so that's really why i like this tea tree um braid spray the next product I have, the next product I have here is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. So this is kind of like what that looks like. I use this conditioner for like my hair. When I feel like my hair is really dry or after I wash my hair, I like to use it in my natural hair and it just works for me personally. I've tried other creams, but I didn't really like those creams, but this one personally, I really like. The next product I have here is a gel and I don't use it as much as my edge control but I do use it sometimes it smells really really good and this is um, Gorilla Snot and this is what the bottle looks like it's a lot of product for how much it costs it was only five dollars but I really like this product because I used to see it every now and then on YouTube and I could never find it but I found it in the beauty supply store when I went to go buy hair I found it and I was like oh let me try it out and it smells really really nice I just really like it. I use it here and there, but it's a really good product. Um, the next product that I got to show you guys is African Shea Butter. And this is the container. And I got this from the beauty supply store as well. And I bought this just because I wanted to try something new. And the reason why I love this is because it has so many different purposes. And this is the 100% natural, unrefined um, shea butter. So it doesn't have any extra, like product in it and that's why I got this one because it's like the raw shea butter so for this it has multiple like uses you can use it for your skin eczema burns pain relief swelling arthritis it also improves like your muscle relaxation and stiffness you can also use it as a natural sunscreen and it can treat dark spots skin discoloration stretch marks wrinkles blemishes and you can use it to massage um, yourself you can also use it for a diaper rash if you have a baby and it's also a good natural like hair conditioner so that's why I've been loving this product lately especially in the winter time when your skin is so dry I feel like this is like really good on the skin especially like your like I've tried it on my face but I don't use it on my face a lot because it's super thick but it's literally like you know when you walk outside and it's like so cold to the point that you feel like your soul gets knocked out of your body when you put like this product on you it's like a barrier I don't know how else to describe it it's literally like a barrier for the winter time the next thing I have here is the Neutrogena makeup remover toilets so like when I initially had planned to like film this obviously when I filmed it it was like in better condition this is basically out now this is what it looks like but I use these toilets all the time because they're so like effective and it doesn't burn my skin. I've tried other makeup wipes and they usually burn like my skin. I don't know why, but like this one, I have no issues with it. So that's why I always keep on buying them. For my 2016 favorites, I have some lipsticks that I want to show you guys that I've been loving the heck out of. I wear them all the time because I just love the colors. The first one is this one that I'm wearing right now. It's a ColourPop lipstick and it's called Embellished. The second lipstick is another ColourPop lipstick and it's Limbo. This color is like known to everyone on YouTube if you don't know about it. Like it's very popular but I love this lipstick. It's a nice brown. 
the next color I have here is a NYX lingerie lipstick and this is what it looks like it's like a mauvey brown color I don't know how to describe it but I love wearing this color and then the last lipstick I have here is a Maybelline bold lipstick and called it's called gray over it and I have a video on this lipstick and what it looks like so you guys can check it out if you want to see what this color looks like it's another mauvey grayish brown color it's similar to the NYX um, liquid lipstick as well but I love these colors the next beauty favorite I have to share for, with you guys is the MAC fix plus and like honestly like I've wanted to get this for a long time and when I finally got it like I use it all the time and this is the bottle is practically out but I love this um, spray I feel like it really does a good job of making your makeup blend nicely together I don't think it like makes your makeup last all night like maybe like some other sprays but I just feel like it makes your makeup look more natural and like finished another MAC product that I got that I am loving right now is the MAC um, highlighter gold deposit and this highlight is all over YouTube and I was so late and I finally got it and I've had tried other highlighters but I really like this one I think it's definitely worth the hype because it's very pigmented and it's very pretty on women of color. So the next product I have for my favorites right here is the Tint Idol foundation from Lancome and this is the foundation. I'm obsessed with this foundation. I love it so much. Like I wear it every single day because I just love it. I used to wear the NARS foundation but then I switched over to this one because I feel like it has a nice finish and I just like the formula and how long it lasts. It's a 24 hour makeup. And I did plan on doing a review on this, which I had on my other SD card, but I, it got, all the footage got lost. But for the makeup favorites, I just included some lashes that I've really been liking. Um, this is the Hollywood Lashes by Kiss. So I like these lashes a lot. I wear the Ardell Demi Lewis Fees, but these are kind of like the lashes I wear when I want to have a more dramatic look. And I am wearing um, Kiss lashes right now. Um, the Kiss lashes that I'm wearing right now are called um, Paparazzi, and this is what they look like. And the um, Kiss lashes are a, a little bit cheaper than the Ardell ones, and they have more in the pack so they have five instead of four so. Okay. so for the end of my year favorites i have my favorite like necklace pieces that i've been wearing i'm just like someone who really loves jewelry so i feel like i had to include this in my favorites video so the first one is this necklace that i got it's gold with like leather going through the um necklace and it's just really really pretty i love statement necklaces and they're very eye-catching necklaces anything that is just like over the top big and like obnoxious i just love i don't know like how to really describe my love for jewelry but like this is the necklace it's super pretty and i did get it with the matching earrings but i lost it but i can wear it with just regular gold earrings but i love this necklace it's by robert lee morris I also have this necklace in the silver when I first got it in the silver and then I was praying that it came in the gold and like a year later I, they made a gold version and I bought it because I just love gold so much and I just love the way this necklace looks. I wear it all the time. The next necklace that I have here is a pearl necklace that um, I got a while back. I've worn it in a couple of my videos because I love it so much I, I don't even notice that I wear it so often but this is what it looks like. It's not the typical pearl necklace, this is why I love it so much. It's like a, a rosy gold pearl color. The pearls are not white, they're like a rosy color, almost brown color. And this is what it looks like. If I can find pictures of me wearing anything, I will insert it so you can see the um, actual color of the necklace. But I just really love this necklace and I end up wearing it more than I realize. And I also like the fact that the pearls are different sizes. Um, there are like some small ones, some big ones, and yeah, that's pretty much for it for this one. And this is a Carol Lee necklace. Last necklace I have here for you guys is this Aldo necklace that I love so much. And it's weird that I'm putting it in my favorites because I haven't been able to wear it, but I'm trying to find an outfit to wear it that suits the necklace perfectly. But this is what it looks like. It's silver and i don't really love silver that much but this necklace i was like an exception an exception to the rule because i just felt like it was so gorgeous it's a choker 
style kind of necklace and then it drapes on your um, collarbone chest area but um, hopefully I can do a look with this necklace and show you guys like how it truly looks because it's so gorgeous I don't know how if you guys can see it with the light here but I really like this necklace I feel like it's a great piece to have in my collection and that's pretty much it for this video and those are all my 2016 favorites if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think and i will see you on my next one bye